What is up, guys? Welcome to another edition of the Mark Marauder Show. Be in the market. One trade at a time. If you're new to the Mark Marauder Show, the investment channel helps you to find the best deals in the market. If that's something you're interested in, make sure that thumbs up definitely helps the YouTube algorithm promote the videos. All right, so I'll be giving you uh, some crypto updates on the crypto news. So these are some articles that I came across that I think will help everybody overall uh, talk about crypto and just familiarize themselves on what moves are being made in the market. Uh, so first on here, this is from uh, CoinDesk. It says, DJ Steve Aoki uh, launches sci-fi NFTs on Nifty Gateway. Uh, if you're not familiar with what NFTs are, they're non-fungible tokens. Uh, I have a video on my channel talking about NFTs as well as some NFTs of my own, uh, which are down in the link below. Uh, so talking about making NFTs where it could fetch uh, another $4.25 million in late April. Um, so Steve Aoki rejects claims uh, non-fungible tokens are a bubble. Um, and says the way I feel about it is NFTs are here to stay. Um, Coindesk uh, in an interview said they're not going anywhere, which I currently believe as well. I think NFTs are a great way uh, to make money uh, yourself as an individual, as well as you know diversify your portfolio um, for a company, individual, um, or someone you know just trying to get into the market. Um, announced on Thursday, Aoki uh, has partnered with uh, Tommy. Blue, I think that's how you say it, a uh, motivational speaker and founder of Impact Theory uh, to launch the sci-fi comic theme Neon, Neon Future, uh, NFT said. Uh, the pieces created uh, digital artists uh, will go live on Nifty Gateway on April 27th. So definitely going to be looking forward to those. Uh, they look pretty cool uh, from what I've seen some of them. Uh, so let's click on this. Yeah, they look pretty cool uh, overall. Definitely excited to see uh, this drop when it comes out. Going to be looking for it. Um, definitely some good artwork uh, and some good music behind it, uh, especially considering it's from Steve A. Oki. <clears throat> Next, we have an article about Chili's. Uh, so Chili's is a token um, that has its own exchange. So Chili's CHZ holders love nasty elbows and the 20-fold price gate in 2021. Uh, so going down here, so it says Friday night's martial arts bout between British featherweight um, Brandon Luhain, I hope I said that right, and Brazil's um, Shannon Moraes could make history, but not because experts footwork and that's the elbows, because the MMA fight was made possible through uh, wizardly of uh, fast emerging blockchain technology and one particular platform, particular socios. Uh, a unit company, uh, Chili's, uh, where sports fans could increasingly uh, popular genre of cryptocurrency known as fan tokens to express their devotion. Uh, so on Chili's, you can basically uh, go on socios.com and get uh, different tokens. And these are from, so Chili's is the token that's represented by the exchange itself. Um, and then the UFC is a sponsor uh, of uh, Chili's, so they're partnering with Chili's. So if you go on socios.com, you can buy UFC tokens themselves. So uh, if we go to Chili's, we can see Chili's token itself for the exchange um, is uh, 40 cents, so it's pretty relatively cheap. Um, but you can go and use those to transfer over to get the UFC tokens where you can uh, do different things like uh, get memorabilia, um, you know, vote. Uh, on different outcomes, uh, do a little bit of sports betting and things of that nature. So overall, I think it's pretty cool um, and definitely shows how versatile Chili's platform is. I encourage everybody to go look at uh, socios.com because they have a lot of big partnerships uh, with the UFC as well as with um, uh, the a bunch of different soccer teams. So I think they have partnerships with... Uh, um, all the major soccer teams that are out there. So definitely go check that out, uh, Chili's uh, Token. Next, we'll talk about uh, Canada's fourth Ether ETF uh, from 3IQ and CoinShare begins trading on TSX. Uh, so I think this is uh, pretty big news. Uh, just shows the growth of um, ETH or Ethereum in general. Uh, so the announcement Friday, um, 3IQ, said 3IQ CoinShare uh, Ether ETF will trade in Canadian dollars under the ticker ETHQ and in US dollars under the ticker ETHQ.U. Uh, 
Uh, Ether is the second largest digital asset behind Bitcoin BTC, uh, which makes capitalization of over $300 billion as of April 22nd. Uh, the ETF will give investors exposure to the daily price movements of Ether and the opportunity for a long-term capital appreciation, uh, said the firm. So 3IQ and CoinShares announced their intention to launch both Ether and Bitcoin ETFs on the TSX. So this is the Toronto Stock Exchange. Uh, on Monday, they launched the 3IQ CoinShare Bitcoin ETF, uh, the fourth such Bitcoin ETF to trade uh, in the nation of 38 million. Uh, as reported Coindesk uh, on April 16th, uh, three Ether ETF launched uh, by Purpose Investments, CI Global Assessment Management, and Evolve ETF will receive approval and begin trading on the TSX on April 20th. Um, so this has already happened. I think it's pretty cool. Definitely giving a lot of exposure to uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum on having these different ETFs. Hopefully the U.S. will uh, get their own at some point in time. I think they will in the future. Uh, just got to get through a lot more uh, regulations in my personal opinion. But overall shows the growth of Ethereum and Bitcoin as being adopted by a lot of uh, different investment communities. Next, uh, Jackson, Tennessee, in prime position to become a Bitcoin leader, says the mayor. So this one to me, uh, me from being from Nashville, uh, Tennessee, definitely hits close to home, uh, seeing that this is in Jackson, Tennessee, uh, which is just outside of Memphis. Uh, Jackson, Tennessee is the latest U.S. city to embrace the potential Bitcoin, uh, according to the mayor, Scott Conger. Uh, what does the future of cryptocurrency look like in the city of Jackson, Tennessee? Uh, we're exploring payroll conversions uh, of our employees. Even more exciting, we're seriously exploring mining Bitcoin to add to the balance sheet. Uh, so me personally, this is the first time I've ever heard of a mayor of a town um, or a city basically say that they embrace uh, cryptocurrencies in general. Um, I think it's pretty cool that it's someplace in Tennessee as well. Um, so definitely could help the community especially if they're starting to uh, mine bitcoin as well a lot of money going into that i think bitcoin now is still kind of in its small infancy uh when you start seeing bitcoin get into like a hundred thousand dollars two hundred thousand dollars um then i would say you know it's starting to uh you know really start to rally uh like crazy it still is pretty high compared to where it was a couple of years ago but still i think you know we're kind of like in a small to lower midpoint uh, i don't think it's reached its uh ultimate peak i think it definitely has a lot more potential to go up way further than where it currently is uh so to see uh, you know mayors or city officials actually start to take heed of the potential uh profits that they could make from um you know going and accepting this cryptocurrency i think it's a very good uh thing moving forward and definitely shows the growth and popularity of the cryptocurrency so it says uh, in a prime position to be the leader in Bitcoin adoption, especially uh, for our size uh, and for a city of our size. So Jackson, Tennessee is not that big at all. Um, and it says we're currently exploring opportunities uh, for our employees to diversify uh, their deferred compensation by adding a Bitcoin conversion option uh, that will allow our employees to utilize dollar cost averaging to increase and enhance their portfolios. Which I think is a fantastic way uh, that a city can help a, a group of people to increase their, um, you know, div diversification um, in crypto. And also begin investing in general. So I, I like uh, what Jackson, Tennessee is starting to do, um, led by their mayor, Scott Conger. And lastly on here, we're going to talk about uh, Ethereum. Uh, so Ethereum gas limit hits 15 million as ETH prices soar. So if you're not familiar with uh, what gas is, um, when you make a transaction uh, using Ethereum, so like, let's say you want to buy NFT, uh, you would have to pay gas fees. So if you go here, this is uh, from CoinGecko. CoinGecko actually tells you the different gas prices, uh, and it's linked from Etherscan. Uh, so currently right now, uh, for a fast transaction, it's 77 GUI. So GUI is basically what uh, gas is. Uh, standard is 70, uh, safe is 69. So you always have those three different ones, um, and it's just a time variable on your transaction. So you're basically paying to have your contract, uh, you know, go through at a certain amount of time, and it's done by gas, which is called GUI. Um, so miners have raised Ethereum's gas limit uh, to almost 15 million for the first time uh, in the bid to 
uh, relieve transaction uh, congestions at the time when on-chain activity is increased with Ether price ETH up 2.8%. Uh, on the day to $2,456,000. Uh, the Ethereum gas limit sets the ceiling for how many operations can be included in each block. Uh, before the increase, miners set the Ethereum gas limit to $12.5 million until Ethereum's creator, uh, Vatlik uh, Buterin, uh, suggested raising it last week on Reddit in light of the code of the recent code uh, optimizations activated on the network. Uh, now that chain is safer, we can increase the gas limit, uh, which makes every application cheaper, uh, which I do like um, in general because gas fees are ridiculously high. Um, you know, if you if you're not you know familiar with it um, and you're not doing something like buying NFTs or making different transactions or converting coins uh, over, you may not have ran into gas fees. But once you start diving more into cryptocurrencies in general, you will start to see uh, sometimes gas fees are like ridiculously high. So it's just basically money that you have to pay to do a different transaction, uh, which is called gas. Uh, if we see right now, Ethereum is starting to uh, have a small rally, 2.45%. Uh, so you know, definitely going to be something to look out uh, for in the future um, to see how these raised gas limit of 15 million will help uh, mitigate these extremely high gas fees. Anyway, drop a comment down below. Tell me which uh, coins or tokens you guys are looking at for this week. Uh, I'll definitely help everybody else in the chat. Make sure you hit a thumbs up while you're down there, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <music>